Hello musicians, welcome back. My name is Bucky Dirtle and I'm doing another tutorial today on the music notation software MuseScore. Uh, specifically I'm talking about key signatures and a little bit about transposing. Okay, so let's get at it. First of all, key signatures. Now if you have a piece of music that has a tonal center, like we have Twinkle Twinkle Little Star here, um, it's uh, music with any kind of tonal center is going to have some sort of key signature. So we need to know how to put a key signature into our music. Um, and of course, some piece of music, uh, there's modulations through the music, so it will change keys from time to time. You may need to have a key change in the middle of a piece of music. So uh, how do we do that? Okay, so first of all, you can see Twinkle Twinkle Little Star is in the key of D major. We have a, we have a two sharp key signature at the beginning. Um, over on the left hand side of our screen are palettes. You'll see we have some key signatures here. So you can uh, this is where we're going to find our key signatures to drag in really easily. Now, if you're writing a new piece of music, um, it will ask you, it can ask you, um, music, music score will ask you at the beginning what key you want to be in as your main key, and you can choose it then, but you can put it in after. Now, let's say if we wanted to take th put three sharps in, I can drop my three sharp key signature here, and we'll put it into three sharps. Um, or whatever, five sharps, you know, and, or whatever, you know, seven sharps. And just drop it right in there at the beginning of the key signature, at the beginning of the piece, and it will change the key signature for us. Let me go back to my D. Now, one of the things you may have noticed when I dropped those key signatures in is it didn't actually transpose it. It kept it in the same key. It just changed key and changed, it just changed key signature. Like right now, I have a uh, G natural here um, instead of the G sharp, which is in the key signature. So if I was to play this as it's written, it would sound like it's in the key of D major. So, um, and again, if I was to throw flats in there, it would be the same deal. You can see it gets really crazy then. You can see all kinds of accidentals. But if I played this, it would actually sound like it's in the key of D major, because that's the way it was written. Um, okay, so before I get on to any more of that, let me stick this back in the key of D. And let's say you want to modulate at, I don't know, bar four. Then I can put that in there. So I have a new key signature now, the key of A. Um, in at bar 4. And I can go back to key of D, bar 5 if I wanted. I can drop in key signatures any bar that I want, that I want to change them on. So you can do that it's freely. It's really easy to drop in key signatures. Now, that's all fine, but what happens if you if you have a piece of music like this and you do actually want to change key, you want to, you want to modulate. Well, what you can do is you can need to select the portion of, of the piece that you want to actually transpose to a new key. So like what you can do is you click in the, like, the first note you want to transpose, and I hold down my shift key, and I go to the end of where I want it to transpose. Oh, sorry, I missed that. The note head, there you go. So I want these notes to be transposed into a new key. So then what I do is I go up to Notes at the top of my screen, and I pull down to Transpose. And then it's going to give me a Transpose window. Now, I can, I'm going to go into this more detail in another tutorial, but just to show you right now, you can transpose by key, you can transpose by interval, uh, and you can transpose diatonically. Okay, so now let's just go by interval. Okay, so I'll select by interval and go up. Let's go up by major second. Now let's do more. Let's go by, um, let's go by, not by a major third a little bit of space. Okay, so now if I click give her, there we go. It's now by a major third. And there you go. We are now transposed into a new key. So you can see the notes actually moved up and they're in the new key. So they're they're written to be in a new key. Okay? So like let's say let's move this back on undo that. And we're in the key of D here now. Let's go back to our transpose window. And let's go by key. Let's go, instead of it being by, uh, by interval, let's go by key. So let's go to the key of um, G major. So I, okay, there you go. Okay, now, so now you can see that it's now transposed in the key of G major. So if I wanted to, I can take my G major key, and I can drop it in, there you go. And then when I'm over here, because this is not transposed over here, I can go back to my key of D right there. So now I have key of D right here, this is the key of G right here, and I'm back to the key of D again right here. So I was able to modulate. So now I have a modulation that happens on bar four and goes back at this bar right here. So piece of cake. So that's key signatures and a little bit of transposition, transposing. 
So um, there you go. Now, if this helped you, if you enjoy this uh, piece of software, be sure to go to the developer's website and show your support because this is an open source application, which is uh, av free and available for anybody to use. So it's great that they're doing that. Make sure you show your support to these great developers. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.